Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we are tackling a ton of laundry that I've been putting off out of pure laziness and a mix of depression and just pregnancy pain. I've just been not doing it. We've been living out of just a pile of clothes and so I wanted to get this all done so I don't have to worry about it anymore. And the thing is is that this only took me two hours, this huge pile, and so if I would have just folded it as soon as it came out of the laundry, it would have just been done. So I need to just... Laundry is one of the things I hate the most. So I just need to push myself and actually get it done. As you could probably tell, I've been sick this week, but I still wanted to just get something done. So I'm putting together this video as kind of an intro for anyone who is new and doesn't know who I am. Um, and I'll be answering some frequently asked questions as well as just questions I found online. And so... Yeah, let's get into it. My name is Kiwi, and I'm a stay-at-home mom of a toddler and expecting a new little one in at the end of May. And I started this channel to document my journey through learning how to clean. I grew up in a very messy home that was chaotic, and um, I started about a year and a half ago wanting to really learn how to keep my space clean. And I feel like I've done an okay job at that, but of course, things get overrun around here, and I'm still kind of learning on how to keep up. So, be patient with me as I still learn, but I've definitely come a long way. If you're interested in how far I've come, you can check out some of my first videos, which are poorly edited, but it does show the progress. Um... So, let's get into some of the questions. So, really quick, I wanted to go over my little system here. I was just trying to do it in groups, um, so I would pick out like the towels and the pants and over there where the cat is, is my son's clothes. I'm doing the no-fold method for now. So I'm just throwing all of his clothes over there, and then I'll put them in his drawers and not fold them. Since he's a toddler, and his clothes are small, and they'll get messed up anyways. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. Anyways, one of my first questions I got was, when do I plan on moving? If you don't know, I'm living in my mom's house, and I'm just kind of here to just save money and try to get back on my feet and I had the plan to move out however that's kind of changed the rent has not gone down at all and it's just been very hard to make enough income um we're living solely on my husband's income and I make a little bit of income with my channel um but it's not enough to be able to rent without putting ourselves in a difficult spot so we decided that we would stay and try to save as much money as we can to eventually buy a house hopefully buy a house because I've just been feeling like buying a house is a good direction for us so we're staying here until further notice we're gonna have the baby here and all of that stuff which of course is a bummer because you know we all want our own space but I'm very thankful to my mom for letting us be here pretty much rent free we help out when we can, but it's very nice of her to keep us here and keep us safe and um, help us get back on our feet. Another question I got was, did my son have a reaction to his bluey room? And he loved it. He didn't have, like, a huge reaction like you would expect from an older kid. He was about a little over a year and a half whenever I, I redid his room. Um, but he loves it, and he really enjoys his room. He's always asking to go in there and play and just hang out in there. So I'm very thankful I was able to provide a toddler safe space for him. And I'm just excited because I did not have that, you know, growing up until we moved into this house. Um, when I was like 10. So I'm very thankful that I was able to give him his own customized space.
Another question I got was when will I be able to do a furniture flip and <laughs> we are hoping to actually start a furniture flipping side hustle slash business together, my husband and I. Um, so I will hopefully be making videos about that. Um, I'm very excited because it's just something we can do just to make a little extra money to save more um, and maybe even get my husband part time if it goes well. So we'll see how that goes. But I am very excited. I have several pieces of um, furniture that I can flip. Um, and yeah, it's going to be really fun. I'm excited to hopefully take you guys along with that process. And then in the same question, she asked, how am I doing? And I'm doing pretty well overall. Um, <laughs> depression's been kicking my butt lately, but I'm coming through it and getting over it. And I'm starting to feel a little better as I go. I think with how chaotic the holidays were and just, I don't know, I've just been struggling, but I'm hoping to get out of it because I'm already starting to feel better. So thanks for asking. I appreciate it. My pregnancy has been okay. I've just ha been having the normal aches and pains. Um, I've been having hip pain and just all the fun stuff that comes with pregnancy. So I am currently a little more than halfway through my pregnancy. So we have only uh, let's see, a little over three months left until we can meet our baby girl. So I'm excited for this to be done, but I'm just appreciating how well everything is going overall. I don't have preeclampsia or anything like I did last time, so that's good. Straight from your lips, no plate. I'm first class, looking like a Barbie. All my friends, they really try to warn me, but. All right, so now for just some Q&A questions that I found online. Um, those were all the questions that were asked, and I appreciate everyone who did ask me questions. So thank you for that. Um, the first one is, do I have any hobbies? And I do. I like to paint um, and draw. I've been getting into journaling, and I've been learning how to cook more and more, and so that's exciting. It's very, It's a very good feeling to know that I can provide for my family in that aspect. Another question is, what skill would I most like to learn? And I would love to learn how to sew and knit and all of the <laughs> the homemaking skills. Those are just exciting to me. I love being a stay-at-home mom and taking care of my family. Um, but I would love to learn those basic skills because you never know when those will come in handy. Because I would love to be the mom that makes my kids Halloween costumes and stuff. So... Those are some skills I would love to learn. Um, I've been working on embroidery lately, so that's been fun too. So then we have, um, how many children do I want? I would ideally want four, but I've even been leaning towards a big family of six, which I know is a lot, but hopefully um, we would make it work with, you know, side hustles and stuff. I'm planning on starting businesses and stuff down the road. So yeah, six would be really cool, but probably stop at four <laughs> and last one is who or what never fails to make me smile and that is my son and my husband and just my family in general I love spending time with my family um, I'm very family oriented and my son is just the funniest little kid ever <laughs> so that makes me smile and makes me happy so I don't know what I would do without my family that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. Don't forget to give me some support if you can by liking, subscribing, or commenting. I really love seeing you guys comment, and I really hope you guys learned something new about me. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments. Bye!